Hello students. Today we will discuss the methods for the measurement of earth resistance. We know that the resistance of earth is very low. Therefore, all the equipments of power system is connected to the earth through earth electrode. The earth protects the equipment and personnel from the fault current. The fault current through the earth electrode passes to the earth and thus protect the system from damage. So before providing earthing to the equipment, it is essential to determine the resistance of that particular area. The earth should have low resistance so that fault current easily passes to the earth. Mainly two methods are used to determine the resistance of the earth. First one is fall of potential method and second one is using earth tester. Now we will discuss fall of potential method for the measurement of earth resistance. The figure shows the circuit for the measurement of earth resistance with the fall of potential method. E is the earth electrode. A and B are the auxiliary electrode. The auxiliary electrode B inserted in the earth at a distance away from the earth electrode and the auxiliary electrode A is inserted in the earth between E and B. The position of electrodes E and B are fixed and the position of the auxiliary electrode A is changed and the resistance measurements are done for various positions of electrode A between E and B. The current I passes through the earth electrode, earth auxiliary electrode and back to the source. And this current is measured with the help of ammeter. And using a voltmeter V, the potential difference between E and A is measured for a given current I. Therefore, the resistance of the earth RE is equal to voltmeter reading divided by ammeter reading which is equal to Voltage between E and A divided by current through the earth I. And we already discussed that the position of the electrodes E and B are fixed and the position of the electrode A is changed and resistance measurements are done for various positions of A. From the graph it is clear that the measurement of earth resistance depends upon the position of auxiliary electrode A. When E and A are closer, the earth resistance rises rapidly. When the distance between earth electrode and auxiliary electrode is increased, then the earth resistance becomes constant and when the auxiliary electrode approaches the auxiliary electrode B, the resistance again increases. Thus, the placing of electrode is very important and errors may be occurred by incorrect placing of the electrode. Therefore, the correct value of earth resistance RE is when the auxiliary electrode A is at such a distance that the resistance lies on the flat part of the curve. Here, suppose this point is D here and this point is C. So, we will get the correct value of resistance if we are placing this auxiliary electrode between D and C. Thank you.